Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of The MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ, wearing my favorite blue flannel shirt. And given that 48 hours ago we had four to five inches of snow, I believe we're still inclined to wear our flannel right now. As to the topic, in uh, a week or so ago, in a previous segment of ours, we, we talked about Ken Buck, 4th District out of Colorado, resigning, taking his ball, and going home, and doing it right away so as to prompt a, 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 a they were going to have a vote to fill the seat for the last few months of this session, but he was timing it in such a way that Lauren Bobert from the 3rd District wouldn't be able to uh, run for the 4th District. And I don't know if we explained it much last time, but, but the reason being is the 4th District is much more heavily Republican than the 3rd District. And she was probably a sure thing for the 4th District, whereas, well, now she's going to have to campaign and work to win the 3rd District that she's currently in. Okay, right. that, that was the drive behind her switching districts for the way I understand it. Okay. Okay. That being said, we got another rhino, another high road Republican playing his games. And and he's being very strategic and vindictive in what he's doing. Okay. The guy's name is Mike Gallagher. And I'm I, he's probably uh uh probably kind of known to, to some of the people, and this is not the same Mike Gallagher that's on uh, the Patriot uh, East uh, Eastern Time Zone nine eight at twelve p. Okay, right. uh, it's 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 a completely different Mike Gallagher. I say that because Mike Gallagher on the radio is forever getting hate mail intended for the Mike Gallagher out of the eighth district of Wisconsin. Well, so, it's funny you should say that because this apparently this happens quite a bit because. Uh, the Detroit Lions cornerback, Cam Sutton, is accused of uh, strangling a woman and beating up another woman. And he's on the lam from the police and they're looking for him. The Lions cut him. But there's another Cam Sutton who's an athlete. And he was getting tons of hate because of the other Cam Sutton. Well, just just so everyone's aware, the my, the Republican rhino representative out of the 8th District of Wisconsin. His name's Mike Gallagher, not to be confused with Mike Gallagher of the Patriot, okay? So just everyone, uh, just be advised of that. Okay, so this guy's resigning. And if you recall, uh, we referenced how Ken Buck had told Newsweek he knew three others that were going to resign also. So it appears this Mike Gallagher might be one of the three others. But Mike Gallagher, this Mike Gallagher, he's doing something very indictive, okay? He's not going to resign right away. Oh, no. Oh, no. He, he's going to wait till late April. And why is he going to wait late April? Because according to what I read, if he, if he resigns after April 9th, it will be too late for them to, to hold, for Wisconsin to hold a similar type election that Colorado's having for the 4th District now, okay? Follow me? If, yeah. he, if he resigns after the 9th, it'll be too late to hold an election to temporarily fill the seat, and that seat will remain vacant until next year. Well, here's the thing. He's screwing over the people who voted for him, and this is typical of the high roaders. And this is why I've said in the past, it really just shows their cowardice. He doesn't want to get primaried out, which he probably would. Yep. Uh, he doesn't want to get shown the door. So he's going to quit before he gets fired. Well, and I'm going to screw you on the way out because that's what people who take the high road do. Yeah. Well, he was he's definitely so morally taking... above the rest of us. He's going to yep. pull a stunt like this. He was definitely taking heat because Mike Gallagher of the Patriot getting some of his hate mail uh, said, wow. You know, because Mike Gallagher on the Patriot, he knew they they meant the other Mike Gallagher. Right. And he was like, holy cow, is his constituency ticked at him, you know? And uh, but, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, uh, you know, you know what I would like to see? And I don't know if they have the votes to do it, but I would like to see them take a vote to remove him from office now. 
on anything they well, could trump I, up. Just trump up a charge. You know, you know, perhaps they ought to just. I was going to say, if they were going to kick out George Santos, why can't they just kick this guy out right now? And then they can have, then Wisconsin would be able to have their election and fill the seat, hopefully with a Republican. Because yeah. there's no guarantee that a Republican would win. But at least we'd have the chance to keep the seat. Uh, what he's doing, and and I don't know the exact math on this, but what I read was this leaves a one seat majority after he pulls his little stunt. And there's a pro there's a problem with that. And I, and I already know she's no, no fan of yours, Max and Mac. And, you know, I guess I put up with her at best, but Marjorie Taylor Greene's trying to push Mike Johnson out of the speakership. She wants to have a, 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 a vote, you know, to remove him. And, and, and here's what I'm thinking. If she did and was successful, might he, with but her feelings, say, you know what, I'm out of here too. Now what do we do? Well, not only that, see what they I'm might, the two of them might vote for Hakeem Jeffries to be the speaker. Exactly, exactly. And this is going to be a big deal depending on how this election turns out this fall. You know, I mean, yeah. I, it's just, it just sucks how we had control of the House and we're just, we're throwing it away. Well, you know what? We're throwing I it away. This, I said this in a previous uh, thing about Marjorie Taylor Greene. I think it was the one we did on the State of the Union. She's an attention whore. She dressed like a prostitute in the one and she's yelling stuff out and all this, that, and the other thing. Uh, she just wants attention all the time. Well, she, she needs to lighten up on, uh, yes, you know, I guess, Maybe I guess she needs to go. Uh, I guess I guess her issue, as I pronounce it sarcastically, her issue is uh, this latest uh, uh, house uh, house bill invo invo involving the budget. Okay, and and I guess it's it you know what it, it's obscene like they all are. Okay, and and so Marjorie Taylor Greene she's she's having her little snit fit. Saying, you know, we're going to show you, Speaker Mike Johnson. Well, you know what? Who are you going to show? Who are you going to show? You know, and and yeah, I just well, want to I'll do a show, quick Here's review. what she's going to do. She's going to show us all by electing Hakeem Jeffries Speaker. And then what, yeah. what does, if this woman's really got any kind of sense and can get over herself for five seconds, she should ask herself, in what budget are we going to get then? Well... I, I shudder to think what will happen if if there's issues with the next election and the Democrats are controlling the House at that time. You know. It, well, you know, for the people who can't be bothered, it does. For the people who can't be bothered, enjoy your electric car and your electric stove and anything else they feel like taking away from you. Enjoy your bug sandwich, except for you won't have any bread because there won't be any wheat because you can't farm with electric vehicles. And, you know, I, I just want to take a quick walk down memory lane. How a few months ago, the high road Republican, you know, the high road Republicans had to get Santos out of there. Only for uh, only for Ken Buck with his butthurt feelings to resign like immediately and to do that to screw Bobert. And and then this Mike Gallagher, he's resigning, but he's going to his resignation is going to be strategic. So as to, again, screw the MAGA crowd. Well, and, here's where Marjorie and, Taylor Greene needs to stop what she's doing is because, you know what, this is an opportunity for us to be rid of these ass clowns. Yeah. So, I don't know. You know what, you talk, you talk about a roller coaster ride here in the, in the Republican House of Representatives. My gosh. You know? Yeah. It's just, it's just crazy. Crazy. Uh, I was just inclined to share all this news with with everyone i just uh you know what next I, right now next year can't get here quick enough if you ask me oh yeah i don't know i just we need to hurry if we get this november election put away you know so I, that's all i got and anything else you got there that'd be it for me 
Okay. All right. Well, uh, keep your powder dry. <laughs> uh, we'll catch you in the next segment. See you next time. As always, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me. Thank you.